To Galileo in 1610, the ringed planet appeared as three stars, with two small ones touching one large, prompting Galileo to declare that Saturn must have ears. But in 1655, using more advanced optics, Christian Huygens unmasked the apparition as a flat ring circling a spherical planet. Twenty years later, Giovanni Domenico Cassini discerned that it was not one ring, but several, with gaps between them. The widest gap was later named the Cassini Division. We now know that it's 4,800 kilometers wide and far from empty. In 1859, Scottish mathematician James Clerk Maxwell showed that the rings are not solid disks, but composed of many smaller granules. Each tiny fleck, pebble, and boulder revolves around the planet in its own orbit jockeying for position among trillions of others. Though all are flying several kilometers per second, they jostle one another only very gently. The concentric rings are given letters, A through G, in their order of discovery. Material riding close into Saturn's cloud tops in the D ring whips around Saturn in about four hours. But particles in the distant F ring take at least four times longer. It wasn't until the Cassini's inspection that we learned just how flat the rings are. Incredibly, they are only 10 meters thick on average. From top to bottom, only about as tall as a three-story building. These rings are 30 million times wider than they are high. ring material can ripple up and down, crafting temporary corrugations. Many intricate wave patterns can be seen across the broad ring plane. Each one is conjured by a specific gravitational resonance with a Saturnian moon. Though the basic physics of the ring system is simple, it's mostly the product of gravity and collisions the intricate structure of the rings is hard to mathematically model, even after 13 years of Cassini observations. The pressure of sunlight and forces from Saturn's magnetic field can push or pull less massive ring particles around. Most particles are small, from tiny crystals smaller than a dust grain, up to pebble-sized. Less common are ice rocks and large boulders up to the size of houses. A few are the size of mountains, moons in the act of forming or falling apart. Grabbing an average size ring particle would feel something like closing your hand around a thick layer of very cold whipped cream to find a glob of solid ice cream deep inside. Packing of particles varies between rings. Very little light gets through the B ring of crowded snowballs. An astronaut would have to dig her way through it. The A ring is less congested. And the G ring is very diffuse, like fog or smoke. The Cassini mission confirms the rings are made of almost pure water ice. But tiny quantities of simple organic compounds tint 
and shade them. The astronomer Carl Sagan called these colorful chemicals tholins, Greek for muddy. Crossing Saturn's dark side, Cassini's camera picks up the true colors of the ring plane's variations. <laughs> <laughs>